Hello, my loves. Welcome to your January reading. First half, oh, again. First half of January for my Aries. So while I've been shuffling, they have been flying out. But the story that they've been saying is that you're in a real soulmate connection with somebody outside of a relationship that you've been trying really hard to stay faithful in. You've been really working hard on focusing on the relationship, but you feel a, a very strong connection to somebody else. Okay, and um, you are a little bit guarded and you would like to offer your love, but you can't right now. You're, you're in a bit of a turmoil, trying to listen to your higher self and be honest with yourself as much as you can. It's like when that person's not in your presence, you... You feel okay, it's like you can focus, but when you come close to that person or when you're with that person or when eye contact occurs, it's like, oh my God, okay, now, you know, I've got to try and work something out to be with this person. All right, so an offering of love, but as I've been shuffling for the last few minutes before I turn the video on, it shows that like literally the night of, um, cups reverse like you want to offer your love you want to offer something to somebody but you can't right now just as karma is getting in the way of your happiness um, with somebody that you find very attractive and that you would like a new beginning with but you can't okay so this is a love spread for Aries for the first half of January um, so my Venus is in Aries, so this could very well be for me as well, but I'm just saying it's just a general reading for anyone with Aries in their Venus, in their Mercury, in their rising sign, could be their moon, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, of course, this sun could be Aries. So let's get into it. What does Aries want with their love? They want to offer love, but they've got a choice to make and they're trying to choose it with not their heart, but with, you know, their highest self, with an honest self, honest part of themselves. So, you know, it has been coming out like that. What does Aries want? You want to proclaim something. You want to wake something up that you thought was gone maybe you want to focus on where you are right now and you want to forget this person or is it that you want to wake up that connection and see what is actually there all right so didn't actually ask anything but these cards came out you want to 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 move away for a fresh start you're thinking of, you know, you're making plans. You kind of got this idea, this idealism that you'd like to trek towards to make a fresh start somewhere. Okay, so what does Aries need from their love in January 2019? What does Aries need from their love? They want to tell them something. What do they want to say? You know, they're basically both communication, like bring news of love and you want to message someone, you want to send them something, you want to tell them something. Okay. All right. So what does Aries need? <laughs> they need to go towards their love. They need to break away and go towards. How does Aries see their love? 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 As um, someone they'd like to sneak around with maybe and return and rejoice. Is that a return back to the workforce and then you'll see your love? I'm just guessing. Sorry, because it's a return card and sneaking around a little bit. All right. How does Aries see their love? I, I have a feeling you just want to see what this connection is and see where it takes you. You don't really want to sneak around. You just want to 
see what what is this connection that you're feeling where is it going to take you i think i'm right you've got a bit of inner turmoil and you see your love as someone with bright blessings who will give you a good future so you see them as someone who's giving you a bit of um you know making you feel like you know a bit of mental um conflict like it's within yourself there's nobody there but you also see them as a as a bright future someone that you, you've got that connection with that you really want to go towards all right so let's see what they think of you what does areas is love think of them what do they want what does areas is love want they want you to make an offer that page of wands again they want you to make an offer they want to hear from you and they want you to make that choice and to release release your situation right now and to just go towards them it's like they're getting sick and tired of the way sorry just a feeling okay what does aries's love want what does aries's love want Ooh, they want a big change this there's like crazy amount of cards they can't wait to return with you they've got lots of options are they disillusioned are they fantasizing way too much about you and they want something quick they want um they think you're the bee's knees but also they want you to to acknowledge them see them for who they are all right so because there's a crazy amount of cards there i'm not going to take all of them i'm just going to ask you them. okay they want me to tell tell the story they okay so they want a phallic offer of love they want to work on something with you and they oh, okay so they want the passion and they want the emotion with you they want to work on the passion and the emotion with you i have a feeling this is a workplace love situation okay so what does your love want this being they're sick of being left out in the cold you know that lack of consciousness they they don't want that anymore they want you okay so what does your love need what does aries love need wow look at this it's like it's just peeking out like crazy the tower they need the tower with you they need a big change what does aries's love need what does aries's love need they're on guard and they need to know the truth they need to know where they stand that's why they're on guard they're not quite sure where they stand with you who are they to you anyway all right what does aries's love need ah oh, they feel like they've been stabbed in the back by you they need the truth you're holding the sword that's stabbing them in the back damn ouch again the return card this is also a marriage card okay <clears throat> so how does aries's love see aries how does Aries's love see Aries January 2019? How does ooh, Aries is another whole bunch of cards? They are oh, beautiful. They see you as love manifest. They see you as someone charging in fury and you know lots of the verbals. They also see you as someone left alone or you're leaving them alone. They see you as a page offering little little bits of verbal love they see you as a person of secrets that knows too much and they also see you as a knight of wands someone coming in and offering their passion are you already kind of in a relationship with this person but it's not really kind of um been made official because it's a third party situation 
Advice. What is the advice for Aries in love, January 2019? See what I mean? Like they're just coming out in bunches. Like it's becoming a really heavy reading. Advice. Find your balance so that you can move forward. Find your balance. Make that offer. Be the king of cups. Be emotional towards. Be a, show a bit of emotion and empathy towards your love. Okay, and um, do a bit of the honest, honesty. Be a little bit honest, even if they're a bit reserved to, excuse me, <coughs> towards you. Just be honest and say it as it is. Don't let go. Hold on. Hold on to, to your love and don't let go. Hold them close to your heart, close to your mind, and don't. Don't let them go. Oh, my God. The tower again. It's time to make that shift in your life. Make a change. Okay, my dear Aries. Let's clarify all these cards for you, shall we? With the energy oracle. Ah, oh, they're being messy again. Or is it me that's being messy? I don't know. Because it's not usually like this. Oh my god, when I was shuffling these energy oracles for you before this card came out. So judgment card came out, happy family. Okay, is this a love from the past? Walking away reversed. So it's, you know, don't, don't leave this love, stay with them. Is that why the judgment card came out? It's a love from the past that you're trying to reunite with. Hmm, interesting. A connection with your past. Oh my God, again. Past love in the, I mean, past life love. Or is it like someone from your past, someone that you felt a connection with for a really long time and you've been denying it? I think I said that before that I feel that it's a connection that you're feeling deep within and you're kind of like denying it, trying to move on with your own life. But you, every time you're close to this person, the connection's there and you just can't deny it. Okay, so Six of Swords is there because it's an intuitive connection, something deep within. Also, you've got... Blossoming abundance. The feelings are very strong and abundant. Like it's a really full on, your heart swells. The um, garden and the gate, you're waiting. It's a waiting game. Waiting for the right moment to make your move. Victory. When you finally feel the right moment, it's going to be time. And I feel that the time is now. If the time is not now, when is the right time? Because time, space don't have don't have the measurements that we make it make anxiety reversed anxiety reversed anxiety reversed so it's time to let down all the mental conflict and acknowledge the happiness this person brings to you Time to let go of all that extra mind energy. All right, so why did Aries's love get Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Three of Pentacles? Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Oh my god, I get it. You're off. Ah, exactly what I was going to say. You're offering love. To two people passion to one emotion to the other that's why it's a three of pentacles in between an emotional connection to one and a physical connection to the other i see and this card kind of grabbed my attention before it's a three-way why did aries get ace of wands oh my god how perfect and ace of cups you need to find your balance or is it they need to find their balance is it them that's attached to someone and you're waiting 
<clears throat> you're holding on is it them that's attached to somebody else they're offering but what they want ah so they want they don't mind the three way they're happy to go it's just an idea look how it popped out so you're being very creative i know oh yeah archangel camuel time to take action time to move forward with they need you to take action and move forward because they're totally um feeling destroyed and depleted by your words you're just being a bit harsh or they're being a bit harsh could go either way the energy is interchangeable as you know with all readings Ah, oh, attachment card came out. And um where is she? Okay, these are pretty um significant. I should have just taken them. This um Archangel Ariel and Archangel Camuel always come out together in every reading. So she popped out just after he did. She's a creative endeavor, finding creative means to make something happen okay so this goes with this guy an offering of love daughter spirit a very spiritual emotional loving connection but unfortunately either they or you are attached or both of you are attached again the appreciation card came out all right so why this outcome and advice for my Aries? Why strategy? Okay, you need to make a plan with your love to make this tower happen, to make this life changing event happen. You need to strategize. What do they need to strategize? What does Aries and their love need to strategize? Oh my god. Remember this came out before? Reversed. Time to strategize how to let go of the third party. Time to strategize. Because <laughs> someone loves you very much and you love them very much. And you just need to be patient. You just need to be patient and make it happen. All right, Aries. So it's going to happen. It's all up to you. You need to work on this with your love. Time to move out of the old and into the new with your brand new love, that connection that you feel so strongly. I wish you much love, peace, light and happiness for the new year. Bye for now.